Hello there and welcome back to Cory Luces, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge 3.3 preview playthrough as the Greater Maldrew. In the last episode, uh, we kind of determined where we wanted our borders to end up. We failed on Raxus repeatedly, uh, but we are currently sending in a fleet to hopefully intercept this much bigger fleet and do some damage. But uh, we are going to have to fight off a planetary invasion first. With the goal of protecting our heart people, I let it the gun. Uh, I can't speak. I need to minimize this window. But let's see. I, I, I don't think this is impossible. I think we can maybe do this. Uh, I made sure to Boarding. to not spend all the money before Boarding. we got in. So, maybe we can capture all this stuff and yes, sir. Moving get up out. there. Roger. Uh, let's ready. get an Turret AA turret on team. that Swamp speeder reporting. and Moving. get over to that. We'll see if we can get that as a field base. Reporting in. Advancing. Okay, I'm going to run over there with the ATRTs. That's not going to be super helpful for us, but what will be helpful is a scouting field base, so we can have jets. Not Joan jet, but other jets, maybe. So, uh, this was in the latest Mandalorian episode as well. I think that might have been the first one it showed up in, but uh, Rhino added some particles to the hypervelocity gun to help indicate why the... Uh, why orbital bombardments would be blocked, blocked, blocked by having a grounded space weapon there, so it's a little bit extra flavor for people. Enemy forces ahead. Yes, Commander. All right. Try to walk back a bit. Ready for we can pull these in. Ready for recon. This hill is not the most helpful. Hey, it could be helpful in a in an us right now sense, but it's not the most helpful in a uh, in an Empire War sense. Because it, it will block a lot of shots. I think it's trying to get in position to uh, self-destruct. I wasn't quick enough getting over what I needed with that. Alright. So what we're gonna try to do with our uh, with our jet troopers is yes, Commander. go over the terrain and get to order, sir. Turret constructing, reporting. Move and get out. to the artillery that way. Copy. So I'm gonna get a bunch Copy. of them off. Okay. I'm gonna tell you to not do that. We'll back you up. Target confirmed. Okay. Get up there. They only have so much pop cap too. Construction complete. Like in a perfect world, I can Opening capture order. the pop cap, but Unit destroyed. no, that's not helpful either. I need to just keep moving. Don't love it. Providing backup. We'll cover you. Unit destroyed. Like Ready. we're not going to be able to stop the artillery with turrets. Providing backup. Kind of just gotta hope we can stop the rest of everything with turrets and Unit turret destroyed. Right behind you. See if we can get yes, sir. the artillery with these guys, right away. which is not working so far. All right, I need the. Moving more to that attention area, with sir. that. Unit destroyed. Unfortunately, we've just got the infantry on this side, which is not the best for doing what we've got to kill there. Roger 
Roger that. Can I get to the Fallout troops. actual landing zone? Ready to move. I think if I can get to the actual landing zone. Constructing. Form up. Ooh, they're coming. They're coming for the field base there, so that's not the worst. Copy. That's not mine. I wish that was mine. Ah, losers. That plan is probably not going to work. Awaiting destination. Almost there. This All whole battle is cover. basically just to protect yes, the hypervelocity gun, which is unfortunately not looking super likely. Scout trooper active. Scanning the area. If they get no this other landing Watching zone, the then we're in trouble. But they don't really have that much infantry unless they get that field base. Or, yeah, if they get another field base. Because they do have the one field base back there, but I don't know if they're moving those in or if they're keeping them back to protect the artillery. So, it's going over there. Move on over. You have a 2M again. They're gonna come up that way. Uh, let's see if we can get to another one of these. Order acknowledged. Keep going. This way. Over there. Walk them back. Advancing. I don't think they had more than two companies of that. Like, they might have had two. I don't think they had three. Construction. On my way. Squad, move out. Moving out. Advancing. Turret has been sold. Affirmative. Okay, I should move On the way. these guys down. Our right base away. is under Moving attack. Out. But that's all going to be infantry. Roger that. Heading out. Yes, so, commander. especially if we have these little swampy boys. Yes, commander. That should be fine. Complete. I don't know if I should get an AA turret on one of these. I don't think we're going to be able to block that much with it. I think it might be a better place for an anti-infantry turret. I'm going to get anything. Once the AA turrets have the point defense ability and they can shoot, in the, shoot down the artillery that's coming in, then that'd be something. But other than that for this battle, probably not the most useful thing for us right now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move you out of there now that you pop your stun. And we kind of just want the turret to take care of them. Let's see if I can get you any closer. It doesn't look like they're bringing any of the infantry up the other side, which is really good for us. Okay, move out of there. Don't want our infantry to have to deal with ATR or ATPTs. Road to that right away. All drug acknowledged. Uh, okay, if they end up just being down to... Right away. Just being down to the artillery, they might even retreat Moving from that. And then it's, there. like, super easy to rush, just artillery. Uh, no, you can't have that. You can't have that. Let's you cannot back. have that. That's mine. Spread out, man! I did toggle the hardware mouse button before... Ready. Uh, before starting, which but that's not going to get. Which I'm, I still do need to get used to properly for actually controlling anything. The ATS2. That's less easy to rush. Yes, sir. 
base is okay, I'll just have to leave that. Roger. What are they sending in there? All right, man. Throw your weapon. Avoiding fire. That's more of the ATPTs. I think that's going to be what kills us. Awaiting orders. Let's go. Yeah, because they're just going to artillery rush that. Oh, I'm going to try to kill whatever we can in the short term here. And then maybe auto resolve when they're close to killing my hyper velocity gun. Here he comes. Oh well. System lost. Hey, it's not the best fleet comp against what we have. So even though we're pretty outnumbered brigade standing by star destroyer reporting in we might be able to do some damage with both of these tactical battle imminent uh, hmm. i think we can send over our other Ground our other army to Raxus as well. Located the enemy. We can actually take that because I, I think we killed most of the stuff that was the actual units that were causing the problems. Commander here. This is not going to be a fighter-heavy fleet, and they're going to be spread out because they're so large. Your reinforcements. It means it's a good time for battle, battle, Battlestar oh, Galactica. This is a way is not going to be great, but I'll put it in anyways. With greater Eldrude comes greater responsibility. Uh, striking time. Uh, Teradoc can go Shall back there. They didn't I'm have an interdictor, right? I didn't just make a huge mistake. No. Okay. All right, I just wanted to clarify where everything was. I'm going to be awesomely badass. Uh, community guideline strike cruiser, shield breaker. I'm the original. I've become more powerful. Dawn. And I'll have another bit of healing from White Page and from Altor in training on either side. What are you in? You are in a gladiator too. That can be that can be used. Brown boot. We're on the move. Emperor's pocket gun. I mean, fighters aren't going to be super useful for us here because they do have a lot of anti-fighter. Just compared to how much we have available, it's not going to be able to get through a lot of that fighter screening. We'll Maneuver stop ready. calling your ship Pizza Slice. To Mom's sector. Revenge. Let's get Karakin. Invicta. And you know what? I have our own customs like Cruiser. Alright. And I'll put you a little bit farther back, Jade Trap. Yeah, precursors are basically like little little tactors as far as as far as that goes, as far as having fighters. Any hangar access they had was really just for logistics. Your orders. Closing right. on enemy. Uh, we're gonna... Ready for command. Try to take them and try to take them. I don't expect to win this battle, but in Revenge Revenge, where there's no point defenses, that a design choice or has not been added yet. Uh, it's not been added. I think I, I think I mentioned it in the first episode some of the stuff that's just not there, being point defense and uh, some general changes to bomber strength. Your command. Sir. They need slightly different projectiles based on how the scaling works. Attack position. For the Empire. All lights are green. Who's a man?
Okay, don't go any further up. Reporting oh, fuck. The Gunship reporting. Regroup for another attack. I don't want you to go Regroup further command. up. But Taking I guess that's not avoidable now. Kind of just gotta to do what we can. Ready to deliver. Moving into attack position. Setting up my run, sir. Because I think we should be able to kill a lot of these without a problem. I'm gonna try to turn you around. And like our fighter should be enough to keep stuff off of us in this area, but it's not gonna be enough to to win the battle. I'm gonna try to spread out our damage just to kill this as quickly as possible. Especially for some of the low firing rate hard points that the precursors have between the heavies and the missiles. Do Carrick's and TR have any point defense value? Or are they only good suited for killing Corvettes and other Lakers? I mean, they're. I wouldn't put that as the dichotomy. Like, they. Carrick's are quite good against anything large as well, especially with shields. Like, you can see the capabilities and the loadout here, where the heavy turbo lasers, that's not going to be as good as hitting small stuff, but they have long range and have, like, particularly anti heavy focus stuff. I think people think of small ships as only being suited to killing small ships, rather than having, even, like, regardless of loadout, of having an effect against large stuff. They're light, their ion cannons are light, so you do need to get them closer if you want to do the shield damage with them, but. Watch for enemy Heavy ships. turbo lasers means they can hit no larger targets run. from pretty far away and are We're less reliable at hitting formation. smaller stuff. Attack position. Your orders? They don't have point defense, which is why like, point defense Current is area. listed in the capabilities as well. Our so any ship that's going to have point defense will display All it in the toolkit. Okay. They're coming in quick. I don't think we lost anything but that BSD. Lost missiles away, kill the KDY, and heck. Alright. So I'm gonna save and I'm actually going to turn off that setting and see if that helps at all. Okay, setting changed. We'll see if that helped at all. I am not going to pull over the Allegiance here, but I am going to combine these fleets. Which ultimately should be enough to pull it back. Like, Felucia, it's not the most important planet, but it's about sending a message, right? Then I'll need to separate the fleet out again. I don't necessarily think there we need are. the Allegiance to win this, and I don't want to remove the Allegiance from where it is. Do they have the Allegiance in battle? No. So that's still going to be in reserve. I think we killed, what, 70-ish pop cap last time? That's what? You're 19, so we killed 40 off that, then another, what, 10? 50... so somewhere between 50 and 70. Choose your reinforcements. And I'm going to try something similar, but I'm going to come in on this side. Where are we headed? Increase the flank. Moving to so sector. I still want our nice protected strike Location situation with Power all the carracks that Understood. are implied in that. Moving we also have a better command bonus. So I don't think yours is that up, good. Yeah, tier three compared to what we got. So Iron hand. Yes, sir. On our way. Heading out, sir. Not nothing, but not quite as good. So we have an advantage there. Preparing Bring in Red Reaper speed. on that, and I think Cerulean Spear. Moving to All lights are green. I 
don't think we do want to bring in something that's heavily missile based, but I'll, we'll bring in Red Dwarf and Vera. So we'll leave the Gladiator out for now. Ready for command. Reporting. Don't underestimate. Teradoc, don't go in, but turn so you can actually shoot stuff. Orders, sir. Ready in there. Deliver. Star Destroyer reporting in. I'd love to kill that Elon, but I'm gonna let it come into range. Like we don't want to move in. We're gonna let them come to us. Your orders? A lot of their powers in strike are in Star Gun. I wonder if healing has any of the Ready for performance command. impacts. Eliminating target. I don't think we really ever tested. That's probably a lot of AOE checks. I'm not sure if it's cheaper when it does the. When it does those checks. Like, it, it's gotta be cheaper than Lua. Or than Lua proximity ah! checks, which are incredibly laggy, which is why we can only use them for so much. All lights are green. Yes, Commander. Engaging the enemy. Ready for command. Taking the offensive. Oh, we should be able to kill those yeah, two. Then the other Star Galleons are staying back. They're not going to be able to help too much with this Return fleet comp anyway. Position. Awaiting orders. Got them one's coming in, then there's what? There's three more of them there. So that's all of those, I think. And I think there were four total precursors. I got one. Let's finish it. Where does Admiral Rogers go between areas one and seven? He goes on lunch break. I've got them in my sight. Anyone who's not there is on lunch break. We're on the move. Awaiting your orders. Watch your back. Ah! Enemies I think we have enough fighters that we could possibly get in there and kill that act too, like fighters and bombers. Fighters can protect the bombers enough. Like the the IPVs are mostly on the other side. Intercepting. I'm gonna move these guys up just a little bit so we can maybe kill the the Edelons sooner. Uh, I've got him uh, taking fire. In warfare, you do warfare not go any closer. You can go a little bit closer. I'm on. Ready for command. And I'm gonna make the all core go a little bit closer as well. Stay in formation. Sir, uh, hitting us. Get your orders. Move you guys through the I'm nebula to shot. maybe get in and support this a little bit more. Uh, we're able to take I some shots you. at this KDY strike. Not a ton though. I don't know how many acclimators they had. Ready for battle. You can get that last one of these. I have them now. Thirteen X has served me well, and it continues to do so. Can probably kill all the IPVs on his own. Then. Ready to deliver. It doesn't seem like anything else is coming over for uh for Teradoc. I'm hit. Where'd he go? Your command, sir. I wouldn't touch that Imperial fleet without at least four Star Destroyers and Battle Cruisers of my own. I mean, we have a Battle Cruiser, it's just the way Battle Cruisers work for Maldrud is different. Like, relying on large ship to beat other ship is not necessarily the most efficient thing you can do. Like, our strike group that's clustered on top of two or yes, three uh, fleet tenders is going to be more effective than an allegiance would be. Like, significantly. Locking on. Both in the amount of damage they're doing, how we can distribute that damage, and even how much damage they can take. 
because they're getting healed by three fleet tenders. Like, I wouldn't necessarily want to do it without the Altor to do a bit of the tanking, but once the shields are, if you just have a battle cruiser and you're just relying on battle cruisers, once those shields are down and it starts taking hard point damage, you have way less effective pop on the field. Roger that. Attack commencing. Attack. Like if you're talking about even pop cap of units, then you're getting the same amount of raw power, but smaller units are generally more versatile for that. So it's not necessarily an advantage to have larger ships. The advantage is to your CPU, really. I do need to make sure I don't Ready send these me. guys too far up Ready alone. To uh, Moving into attack position. Do we start on the tug? Preparing assault salvo. We might want to start on the tug. Which we can start getting them on. I mean, we don't need Aerodox to Your orders to the stragglers. All right. We can power the weapons on that. Coming around. Destroyer here. I can't switch position. I've got them in my sights. Because this plank can keep killing some of those smaller ships. There's a lot of the other units that are behind them. But I don't know what they still have in reserve. Unless they moved away some of the other stuff. Because I don't think I've seen them bring in any reinforcements yet. Thank you, St. Stu, for subscribing. Very appreciated. Like, there's no st there's no stat-based advantage to having larger ships. It's just a... The advantage to larger ships is that... Uh, you're not going to lose them unless they drop to zero health. So, like, if you're using smaller ships, there's a higher chance that you'll need to replace them sooner. But uh, even a couple, uh, yes, Commander, a couple fleet tenders can drop that. It can be harder to micro them, but the it's a higher skill floor, but also a higher skill ceiling in terms of what you're going to get out of them. Star Destroyer standing by. Unable to shake them. More enemy craft. Intercepting. Ready. Stop there. Cruiser ready. Increase power to weapons. If they get out of position, which is also easier in Empire at War with its lovely, lovely pathfinding, which we're seeing a little bit of right now, uh, that can also be a problem. But for Don't now, I think we're okay. We can. I think we can power weapons on that now. Ready to deliver. Reporting in, sir. The gladiator in. Star destroyer reporting in. Open fire. Use the tech turn on that. Sir. Enemies incoming. And we'll try to take out that last nail there before it gets tended in in place. Taking fire. They might have. They might not have the allegiance here. They might have moved away some of their units. Target locked. Commander, they're hitting us. Awaiting command. The desolate Your is orders? probably about to go down. We got half the shields on you. Roger Closing on target. Attack. I'm losing. Uh. Awaiting your command. Where'd he go? I'm on them. He won't be around much longer. Nowhere to run. I got the VSDs are actually doing Be most of that Lord, work. You know what is best for you. Yes, come on. Stay in formation. 
you got the tector on there now too. Eliminating target. Yes. Shockingly, our three bomber squadrons flying into uh, an IPV screen wasn't enough to actually kill the Yak too. But it's going down in a second, and we've taken out all the weapons on this side of side of them. I have them now. Oh no! What are you doing? What are you doing? Excellent shot. Ready for command. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. I'm on them. Where are the others? Coming around. I got one. Draw their fire. We're about to have the shields down on that. Got them in my sights. Thirteen axes serve me well. It continues to do so. Attack formation. Enemies Those two precursors are in. Okay, I'm gonna Increase drop you. Weapons. I copy. Drop the as many hard points as I can with my as quickly as I can. Ready and I, I guess actually focusing on, uh, on just turbo lasers isn't necessary because we don't really have anything that's lost shields that it's firing at. Power to weapons. Weapons ready. Yeah, we have well, we have talked about we lost stars since like episode 150, target. but we do really want to make sure we can get uh, Star Wars explained on that one. And it's been an, a while since we've been able to plan out your books. So once we do older books, it's usually in JO right now. There's like 20 of them, so or 19 books in NJO. Destroying the missile launcher. We knew when we got to NJO it would be a, a big commitment. And it's living up to that. Okay, even once the... Even once the primary target hard points are down, it should still be... Uh, they should all still retarget on mostly different hardpoints. Engines are malfunctioning. Where'd he go? Excellent shot. Nowhere to run. Yes, Commander. We might end up losing that hero. I got. I'm gonna try to get him out. I'm on them. What are your orders? Stay in formation. Okay. Herix, I'll go for the precursors. Target critical. Fire for maximum effect. Confirm target. You're falling out of formation. Attack on fire. This is my actual Teradoc on call. I've detected. I think we've killed a lot of their hard points. Uh, I'm gonna go for the engines on. No, we do, we don't actually don't have to go for the engines on. You're not gonna retreat. We have a we have an internet here for once. Awaiting your command. You say there's more of an upside to using army troopers or stormtroopers. It really depends on what you're doing. Like uh, army troopers having the extra squad, like numbers, is a big deal. So it, having that extra squad is really good. They're not like bad stat wise, and the numbers can often make up for that. I got one. So there's reasons to build both. Like, mixed infantry is generally really good, rather than going all in on one, unless you want a particular aesthetic. See if you can boost your engines out of there. Watch for enemy I don't think they have enough weapons over here to cause problems. Like I think that hero can get out. I'm not even going to use your name. Nervy. Ralph Machio Nervy. 
Commander. I am quite experienced with victory. Coming around. Okay, it is. It, it, like, they're not bringing in anything else, so they must not have that allegiance here. Engaging the enemy. And I really don't think we've lost anything this battle. I might have not noticed a frigate going down, but like I think we've got both of our Vindicators still. One's just hiding a little bit. Ground boots there. Stop calling my ship pizza slices there. These guys didn't die coming in. We did lose a tartan. We lost at least one tartan, maybe two. Which, you know what? That's what it took. Reporting in. Destroy the engines. Gladiator uh, I'm gonna keep making sure you leave. Engines. Destroy the engines. Roger that. Attack I think the Army Special Mission stat block came from me. an RPG supplement. Directing weapons. Reporting in. Firing, sir. Reporting. That's usually where infantry comes from. Getting a lock. Direct fire with their laser cannons. Eliminating target. It may be a little tricky killing the uh, massive star galleons once we're there. Oh, we never actually killed that Pompel. Narrowing position. I got it. Uh, Under control. Ready for command. They never took the shields down on the altar. How much pop did they really have towards this? It was like almost a hundred pop cap, I think, that they had towards their star galleons. Ready to deliver. Uh, Moving into attack that. position. I wish I had a save us. right before this battle. I guess I could auto resolve through the save in the ground battle. That's all we really did. Where'd he go? That could be Let's useful for benchmarking. Stay in formation. Watch your back. Target locked. Intercepting. I am beyond high-sounding nonsense. Destroyer here. I really don't think he's beyond high-sounding nonsense. He can say it all he wants, but I think that that phrase alone is kind of high-sounding nonsense. That's kind of all the the warlord for doing. Destroying the missile launchers. That should take it down. Then it really is just the. Returning to your position. Get behind them. Gunships and got, he won't be around much longer. I'll take care tenders. of this. Locking on. Enemies in range. <laughs> Getting a lock. I'll have to group target a lot of this. Putting on target. Target locked. Fire at will. But as the tenders die, it becomes easier to kill the tenders. I'm on them. Coming around. Pursuing enemy forces. Target critical. I've got them in my sights. Here we Don't go. Interfere I got him. Eliminating trial. target. Falling out of formation. You can almost power Check weapons on both. Their fire. Fire. Taking them out. Formation. Targeting. Fire. He's about to be destroyed. Coming back around for another. This is really making me think the. Healing contributes. I'm losing. Uh, Go after the stragglers. I did power weapons. Another attack. I got. Uh, Target locked. Uh, Excellent. 
shot. I got one. Engaging the enemy. Getting a lot. Uh, you can feel free to make whatever suggestions you want. Your, direction. your orders? I'm uh, going position. Uh, locking on. Uh, okay, well, I don't know why I keep worrying that stuff's gonna get away. Oh, Nothing orders. can get away. They are interdicted. Let's finish him. Enemy, even nervy there. Target locked. Watch your back. Eliminating target. Ready for command. Target locked. Preparing assault salvo. Intercepting. Excellent shot. I'm on this one. Commander, they're hitting us. I got one. Where'd he go? Stand clear. Okay, it should just be that Tom Falk left then. I don't think there's even even any gunships. Oh, there's three. There's a couple. Locking on. Don't underestimate this ship at all. Come on. I have under control. He won't be around much longer. Coming around. Watch him. He's coming around. I think after the the Candosi incident, I am not going to auto resolve even this. Reporting in. Support either Zell or Veers and have a doctrinal switch with different rosters. Like, that would be not necessarily the direction we'd want to take with... Like, splitting one of the Warlords rosters like that. They're pretty focused in how their ground rosters are set up. So, you'd either be segmenting part of the roster yeah, even more work. from how it's intended to be, or you'd be trying to give the same faction two additional play or back around, like two possible play choice. styles that then aren't available to setting up other factions with. Don't underestimate this ship at all. Ready to deliver. All right. He only lost the desolate on that. Okay. So we are going to save there. And that'll do it for our first episode today. Uh, we are going to try to take back Felucia and take Raxus Prime with these little ground units. And do I even want to split this up? I kind of want to split this up and send some back to Meridude. But that's going to do it for now. Thank you for watching. We're going to keep going here on Twitch for one more. Hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.